Welcome back to MFO, everybody. On our anniversary edition, I know you, when I brought this up, you said, haven't we had the anniversary? Yeah, I felt like we did. We've had 100 episodes. We've had 200 episodes. Mm -hmm. But this is our actual anniversary. We've been doing this for a year. Cool. You've been doing it for a year. What have you been doing? A little sidekick. <laughs> That's right. You're my little sidekick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, we're going to talk a little bit about what we've kind of learned in the last year and what you may want to see. Oh, and by the way, the intro is going to be a little different, too. Ooh. Yeah. Welcome back to Mark Fisher Outdoors, everybody. I'm Mark Fisher. I'm Megan Fuller. So... Let's start with a year ago when when this started. What was what's your interpretation of the way this channel started? Cause, well, because I know yours is different than mine. Well, you told me that we were videoing, we were making videos, but it was just simply for practice. That was it. No one would see it. You're just practicing. No one would see. It? No one would see it. No. We were just practicing, okay. and then it evolved to. I'm gonna give the videos. To just a few of my close friends to get their like opinions on how we did in these videos and i was like what we okay, could improve on okay that's like that. a little embarrassing but that's fine we gotta start somewhere i guess next thing i know <laughs> they're just out on youtube they're just out there wild and free and <laughs> whatever happened and yeah and so it kind of just took off from there pretty pretty much those first five videos were practice yep. videos mm -hmm. right supposedly yeah well they were practice videos okay. and i did send them just to certain individuals but mm -hmm. when they said yeah that looks good right. why waste those videos right of course <laughs> luckily we had a very small following at that time oh yeah very so small that's right okay <laughs> not that it's huge right now mm -hmm. which is something else that we want to talk about let's talk about the the th what we found in the year that we've been doing this and i mean we're happy with the growth but i tell you it's not quite at the level that we would like but the issue is is that when we put out a video about oh these two anglers got in a fight at this tournament or the will ford facing sona the gossip stuff the gossip stuff yeah whether oh i heard this over at icast or when i was at the classic Boy, we get a lot of views on that kind of stuff. We do. We get a ton of views on that kind of stuff. Just doing fishing videos, you you got your diehard kind of guys that that watch every day, and 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 we get a lot of comments like, "Man, that was a good tip," mm -hmm. or "That was a yeah. you know, that's something I didn't know about." That's kind of where the thumbnail comes. Got, there are channels out there that do drama all the time. In fact, there are channels out there that if you go back and look, they used to be fishing tips. And they found out that where the clicks are is when they do drama. And so mm -hmm. they stop doing fishing tips and just do the drama stuff to the point where they make up the drama if there isn't drama. And they, you that's know- how bad rumors get that, started. That, uh, that's exactly it. And all you gotta do is take a rumor and say, hey, I'm going to put it out to... And I'm not saying that we don't take information. You know, when I talk about a rumor that I heard, that's a rumor that I heard within the tournament organization or through phone calls with people that are in the stuff. So I'm not... It hasn't been released yet officially, mm -hmm. but we know that there's a pretty good chance that it's going to happen in some way, shape, or form. Right. We might report, for example, that forward-facing sonar is going to get banned on a league, okay? When we reported that, we didn't know exactly what form it would take. We still don't, okay? But we're pretty gosh darn confident that it's going, there's, it's going to be limited or banned in some way. I think there's a lot of guys, I'm getting off this topic, mm -hmm. there's a lot of guys that just realize that the drama is the way to get the clicks. We're still going to report on that stuff because I feel like I've got the ability to get some inside information, but we're not going there full force. We're still going to be doing the fishing tips. Our 
our goal here is to help people become better fishermen. Right. And, and at the end of the day, that's all and all it is, that, right? Like, that's, that's the most important part of the video. That's the important the part is that channel. our community is helping each other. And and I said this in yesterday's video when I was doing the drop shot video. I learn stuff just by doing these videos. And then I learn even more when you guys comment and, you know, oh, we'll try this or I found that this happened. So that's what this is all about. I'm not just teaching. I'm also learning either from doing the videos and, and doing that stuff or from what you guys share with that. So I guess one of the points to this is if you're not a subscriber yet to Mark Fisher Outdoors, that button uh, yeah for sure because again like the thumbnail said come for the drama if it's there but but uh you know it doesn't cost anything to be a subscriber right. and you know you get notified that there's a video out check it out see if it's a tip that helps you and you know kind of let's build this community up too so anything else that you want to talk about in terms of oh, it's being been a, it's been a part of the channel wild first year but uh, it's fun, and I look forward to seeing where it goes now. So I think I think you remember the the very first video that we did. We were sitting yep. here and we were yep. going, "Well, why are we doing it, right?" And you talked about, you know, I talked about how you ask good questions. You talked about how I'm a teacher and things like that. So if we look at what we're going to be doing, I think we're kind of committed to. Yes, if there's drama stuff or controversial stuff, we're going to talk about it. Fishing tips, we're certainly going to do that. 100% we're going to keep doing Underwater Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. And that Underwater Wednesday will be either be Underwater Wednesday in the pool or on the water stuff. And I think people really like to see that yeah. on the water stuff just as much as the underwater stuff. So that's kind of the, the format that we're going to follow and that we're going to keep following. But we would love your feedback on that as well. Yeah, your input. Absolutely. If you more of this, less of this, that kind of stuff, we would 100% uh, appreciate that. Especially if it's oh, more Megan. We want more <laughs> Megan. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. You're good with the with the sidekick mm -hmm. role that yep. you kind of play here and there. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, guys, we appreciate you tuning in today and on our anniversary and we'll be back tomorrow for another episode of mark fisher outdoors take care everybody stay channeled <laughs>